Stephanie Rothstein Bruce. Um, here we are. What? Three, two days before the bus. Three days before the bus. For the bus, your first Boston Marathon. Um, you know, looking at the results, looks like your training's been going well. Half marathon in New York. Um, half marathon PR, 70, 50 something. Third of the US 15K. How do you feel? How your, how your training cycle's been going? It's been good. Um, that's a little scary. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when, yeah, when everything's going together, you're like, well, shit, I can't. The only thing I can do is mess this up right now. So, um, yeah, I feel like things are kind of right where they want to be, and then we will see where Lady Marathon luck is on Monday. Right. I'm just ready to be on the what, what is your goal? I mean, do you have a place goal, a time goal? It's kind of hard. You don't really know what other people are going to do, but what, what, what are you focused on? Yeah, um, I mean, PR is obviously great, but definitely not focused on time goal, definitely place. Um, I just I want to have the best marathon of my career thus far, and um, we're going to just see what, what that means on the day. Um, but, you know, what what actual position that means, I'm not sure. Um, I would be content with the top ten, but, um, you know, top five would be spectacular day. Um, now, let's talk about the conditions. Looks like it's going to be a high in the 50s. You know, I think most of the people in this room are, are, are pretty happy about that, but uh, you're one of the few people that actually likes hot, hot weather. Were you really hoping for a hot day? Uh, I mean, I was initially hoping it because you hate for everyone else to not have a good time, but, yeah, I think sometimes just the adverse conditions, I don't know why, but I seem to do well in, so that would have been nice, but... Uh, it's kind of one of those things where if it's going to be a good day, that also would help me as far as like running, running fast and uh, just having everything be even. Right. And when you ran 232 in Honolulu, how hot was it like during the race there? Yeah, I think it was, it was like 73 and just the humidity was like 90%. That was the big part of it. Um, we actually went like seven days before to try to get used to it. And humidity and heat is very much like altitude. Like when you're first coming down, you kind of got to have to adapt to it. And we felt like being there for a week was really beneficial. Right. Um, it's kind of hard to look past a marathon, but I mean, last year you ran the 10,000 on the track at the tryout. Do you have a idea what you're going to do after Monday? Yes and no. Like it's been very tunnel vision, like Boston. I don't really want to think about anything um, past it. But of course, Tuesday morning I'm going to wake up and probably be like, I want to do this, I want to do that, like every runner does. Um, yeah, I have thoughts about getting back on the track, but I'll probably have to see. I come off of this. And it'll it'll be a really strong 10k field. I know this summer. Um, and then the half marathon championships are also the same weekend, so the timing of that kind of almost forces a choice there. So I'd have to see if I felt like I was ready to run something like under 32 minutes and to even get the standard and be in a position um, to be competitive at the track. Otherwise, probably maybe not get back on the track and stay on the road. All right. All right. Well, good luck on Monday. Thank you.